everyone. With the holiday coming up, I want to show you how to make two different types of gerbil treats that can be used as presents, either for the holidays or for any time of year. So the first one we're going to make, you will need um, only two things. You will need tubes, either toilet paper or paper towels, which if you have gerbils, I'm sure you have lots of, and you will need treats. And so what you, we're going to do is we're going to make a ball. So what you do is you cut a tube and you're just going to cut a narrow strip of it. And you want to do this all the way through the tube. It can be any type. It can be thin like that. It can be thick like this. It doesn't matter. We're just going to keep cutting. Now you might need, if you're going to use a toilet paper tube, more than one tube. And then what we do is we make it into a ball. You want to think of this ball kind of like a ball of yarn in that it has to go over itself a lot. So you put the loops through each other like this. Sometimes it can be annoying. You have to fold them and then the point is we want to make a ball that contains things inside because what we're going to do is I take those treats and I stick them inside this. So as you can see, this is going to take a lot more than one tube. If you have a toilet paper tube, this might take about three or four of them. If you have a really nice long paper towel tube, you might only need one. directions like this. See how nicely that ties it together? So when you kind of made a ball, you're going to have a nice little pocket that treats go in. You want to make this as hard for them to get as possible because the more they have to work for it, the more enrichment time you get out of it. What I'm putting in here is just completely dry, unsalted, no oil, just pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds. Put them all in there. You want to make sure, see how some of them are going to fall out like that? You don't want that, so you want to keep putting loops around until you can shake it and nothing comes out. and then you can just give it to your gerbil. The next thing I'm gonna show you how to make is a garland. So I'm gonna make the simplest version of a garland. Um, there's a lot of different variation you can use. I'm just gonna use Cheerios and wire. You can use string to make a garland, but it's important to remember that anything you use, the gerbils will chew. And sometimes if the string has either a plastic sealant or um, is dirty, a gerbil's gonna put that in the mouth, their mouth and the fibers might choke them a little bit. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of basic tin wire. Now the nice thing about tin wire is when I'm done, I can make it into a shape. And I just put Cheerios on it like a garland. Now the nice thing about garlands is you can get super creative. So uh, I don't have any, but you can get dried fruit. Um, dried fruit, you gotta make sure it's not a super sugary fruit. Um, and you gotta make sure there's no sugar added to it, but if it's something dry that a gerbil already likes, like a dried piece of apple, that would work really well. You can also make enrichment garlands, not just food. So if you wanted to do like unvarnished wooden beads, pieces of cardboard, and you want to use a needle through it, you can make dangly things the way you would if it was say a bird toy for them to chew on. So I just take these Cheerios, I pop them on one by one by one. So the nice thing about wire is you can also make it into any shape. See, I've folded over the edges like this. This can just sit on top of their cage and they can stand on their hind legs. They can eat some Cheerios. Obviously my boys usually have a lot more in their cage, but for the sake of demonstration, this is how a garland works. And this is how their chew toy works.
So happy holidays from all of us here at the American Gerbil Society, both big and small. And we hope you and your gerbils have a safe, warm, healthy, and happy holiday.